Hi there, my name is Imran and welcome to my kitchen. Now today I'm going to show you how to make an amazing, quick, delicious crab dish using fresh Cardigan Bay crab. It's really easy to make, tastes amazing and I really urge you to try this dish. So we're going to use uh, some very basic, straightforward ingredients. Of course the star of the show is the crab. So here we have some fresh hand-picked Cardigan Bay crab. There you go. Absolutely, all the hard work has been done for you there. That's about 100 grams of that. We're then going to have this with a very simple base and we just have to build up the flavour a little bit. So we've got some red onions diced up there. We've got a finely uh, grated uh, clove of garlic. Parsley stalk. So we're going to use um, parsley as the herb in this dish, but we don't want to waste anything. So I've just picked off the leaves. I finally chopped that up uh, into our garnish and that's going to be run through the dish as well. But the stalks are reserved and I finally uh, diced that up as well and that'll go in as a base along with half a red chilli which I finally diced up as well and then I've reserved some red chilli for the end just to garnish with as well. So what's going to carry this dish, what we're going to serve this with is this amazing squid ink pasta. Now look at that, jet black spaghetti. And you can buy this from any big supermarkets, uh, any big delis uh, or online. Um, I urge you to uh, source this uh, from wherever you can get it really, because not only will this dish taste amazing, uh, retain the freshness and the sweetness of the crab, but it'll look amazing as well. So let's get cooking. Right, get yourself to the hob, get a big frying pan on and get it on a medium to high heat. Now I often do this in a wok style pan, just because when I'm mixing the pasta through at the end and I'm giving it a bit of a flick, it stays in the pan. Because if you use a shallow sided frying pan, it kind of flies everywhere. So into that frying pan, I'm just going to use this amazing Welsh rapeseed oil. And I'm going to go in with about two tablespoons. Fantastic. So you've got that in there and now you want to get your base in there as well. So, like I said, we're going to go in with the onions. So that's one red onion. Shallot would work really well uh, too. Uh, we've got garlic, parsley stalk, and uh, the chopped fresh uh, red chilli. And that just all goes in, all at the same time. Just like that. Turn that up a bit to get it going and just mix that through. Now it's very important at this stage that you keep your eye on the garlic, you don't want that to burn. You want this to all soften down but you don't want it to really take on too much colour. So you just mix this through. At the same time, get a big pan of water on the go ready to cook your pasta, okay? And you want to bring it up to the boil. Okay, now you can hear this sizzling. Now that's really getting going. Keep your eye on it, like I said. If you feel that it's just cooking too much, too fast, take it off the heat, or add a touch more oil, which will bring down the temperature. There you go, and that's cooking through nicely. I'm gonna take that off the heat, because that's doing its thing. There's enough retained heat in the pan Keep on cooking those uh, that base in there. So, like I said, the onions, the garlic, uh, the red chilies in there, and the parsley stalk. Of course, you can use some shallot in there instead, or red onion, or if you've got white onion, absolutely fine. You just have to be adaptable at this time to see what you can get. And of course, if you don't have any squid ink pasta, just regular spaghetti or regular linguine would work absolutely uh, fine as well. So, the water is coming up to a boil. We're just going to give that a pinch or two of fine sea salt. No need to use anything particularly fancy in this in terms of uh, salt wise. So that's coming up to the boil. Now we're just gonna drop our pasta in. I'm using maybe about 150 grams, so that's 75 grams per person, uh, dried weight of uh, pasta. So I'm just gonna pop that in there. And just wanna keep your eye on this. You don't want, obviously, this to bubble over at all. I'm going to use some tongs as well, just to keep my eye on it and make sure we can submerge the pasta underneath. 
There you go. So that it cooks all the way through. Meanwhile, make sure that the frying pan with the veg is still getting some heat through there. Fantastic. So now that's the bottom end of the pasta stalks so have sort of softened so I can push it all underneath the water and I can concentrate on finishing off this dish. Now that'll take maybe nine minutes or so to cook, if that. And you can hear that sizzling away again. So really, really easy to make. So the prep time for this, so chopping, getting all these things ready, not very long, maybe five to 10 minutes max. Um, in the recipe, you will have seen I've asked things to be diced finely or diced roughly. Don't worry about that too much. Just do what you can. Just make sure you have the right flavor combinations. So like I said, garlic, onions, red chilies, uh, the parsley stalks, these things just work together, okay? And just get that mixing, get that softening away. And of course, good quality oil makes all the difference. So the pasta's cooking away, we've got the base of this ready. Now I'm going to pour in or put in the crab meat to warm it through and to take on all those amazing flavours that we've added into there, okay? So about 100 grams goes in. Using white crab meat for this, okay, I just feel much cleaner, uh, much sweeter finish, and gives you that classic crab sort of taste that we're looking for. And just heat that through. The pasta is going away. I'm going to go pop over to the fridge very quickly. Because a dish like this calls for a bit of wine, okay? Now where I stand with wine is that if it's good enough uh, to drink, it's good enough to put in your cooking. It needs to be fairly good quality. Uh, in my uh, opinion. So that's cooking through nicely. I'm just gonna add just a splash of wine to this and then majority of this will evaporate off, but it'll still retain some of the flavor, so. Turn up the heat a little bit now, just so that it evaporates off. Whilst that's cooking as well, I'm just going to add in a couple of pinches of fine sea salt. Now, fine sea salt instead of the fancy uh, sea salt flakes or rock salts, with fine sea salt it actually permeates the dish uh, a lot better. It gets working throughout the dish rather than clumps of salts uh, about the place. Yes, of course, you can finish with some really fancy salts, but for this, yeah, just simple fine sea salt, table salt is absolutely fine. So now that's cooking away nicely, the wine's starting to evaporate. Just gonna put that to one side, take that off the heat slightly. Let's check on our pasta. Put that on the plate over there, so I can handle it, so it's not too hot. Just try a bit, you can often tell. Now nah, that still needs a little bit of time, I don't even need to try that. See that needs just a little bit more time just to cook through. So in the time, whilst well, that's cooking through, you can just make sure everything's right with your base. So we've uh, waited for the pasta to cook. It's cooked through now, but not completely mushy. It's still got a little bit of bite. We've drained it, uh, but we've actually retained some of the cooking water in here. Now that's really important to help give your dish a nice glossiness, give it a bit of a body to the sauce. You can add it uh, to the crab if it's feeling a little bit uh, like it needs a bit more moisture to it. So basically the crab's good to go, that's seasoned nicely. We're gonna get the pasta in there. And we're just gonna give everything a nice mix up to coat this amazing pasta in this delicious crab that, like I said, has been caught in Cardigan Bay. It was delivered to me, so they're happy to post. Now, this is when you need some of the pasta water, so I'm just gonna use a dash of that pasta water, just in there, just to give it a bit more sauce, a bit of a body to it, and just loosen everything up. That's much better. 
fantastic. Often the best way is just to mix it like that. Now, we've got some chopped uh, parsley there, just roughly chopped. I'm just gonna pop a large pinch of that in and mix that through. And I'm gonna add a little bit more chopped red chilies. It's up to you if you like it with a little bit of bite. I would add some more red chilies towards the end. Now we're using fresh red chilies instead of dried, just adds uh, a little bit of fruity uh, flavor to the dish. And like I said, nice, nice little bit of heat. I've taken out the seeds, so it's not super hot uh, at all. So just keeping that, mixing that through, and that's well, just in there. That just coats the dish, gives it a lovely glossiness and nice flavor too. Mix that through as well, and we are good to serve this. There we have it, job done. From prep to plate in about 30 minutes, no more than that at all. Really straightforward, minimal input, maximum output, and there you have a really amazing Cardigan Bay crab dish. And it looks amazing. I like to serve this with a wedge of lemon, just with a bit of zing uh, at the end. So you squeeze that over. Grab your glass of wine or beer. You say cheers, yachida. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoy that dish. I hope you make that dish. Uh, full recipe will be on the Port to Plate website. Uh, I hope you really enjoy that. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.